While her husband awaits trial in a high-security Manhattan lockup, Emma Coronel Icefuro is living the high life in Mexico. The sexy young wife of Joaquin El Chapo Guzman Loera is often photographed smiling in skimpy bikinis at picture postcard beaches. Images featuring prominently on Instagram accounts bearing her name. Today we will check out El Chapo's wife's extravagant lifestyle. Number 4. El Chapo's Beauty Queen Wife From posing in a bikini on the beach to showing off her Prada purses, the very luxurious life of El Chapo's former beauty queen wife, 29, as the Mexican drug lord, 61, languishes in New York City of prison waiting trial. When the wife of the notorious drug lord El Chapo learned that her husband had been convicted of trafficking vast quantities of cocaine into the United States, and was likely to spend the rest of his life behind bars, her reaction was magnificently calm. Nobody's dead, Emma Coronel Espiro told those fussing about her, waving away tissues as she swept out of the New York courtroom, in which she has spent so much of the past three months. The 29-year-old Kim Kardashian lookalike is known for her sanguine demeanor and has become a magnet for hordes of paparazzi who routinely surrounded her outside Brooklyn's U.S. federal court as she loyally stood by her husband, Joaquin El Chapo Guzman. Marielle Colon Miro, the junior lawyer who became close to Ms. Coronel during the sensational trial, told news.com.au, She's very, very strong and a very intelligent woman. I think a lot of people underestimate her. I kind of took on the role of helping her here in New York. This is a person who, well, she has nobody in New York. She just comes here to support, like a loving wife, support her husband for three months with no family, not even knowing the language. Well, now the trial of the century is over. The former beauty queen is heading back home to Mexico to see family, friends, and her twin daughters and check on her land and business interests. The drug lord's wife lives a lavish lifestyle, born into a family of Sinaloa cartel members and marrying a man who made an estimated $14 billion as head of the powerful criminal enterprise. And she has big plans for the future, with Miss Colin saying that she could be back in the U.S. within the year to pursue some secret projects. Number 3. Fancy Birthday Parties In other photos, posted to a handful of social media sites, the brunette bombshell wears tight, skinny jeans paired with stilettos and a Prada purse. With her flawless makeup and fire engine red lips, she could easily pass for a socialite on a luxury shopping trip. In one series of pictures uploaded last month, Coronel Aspiro, 29, appears in a tight silver pencil skirt, sky-high nude heels, and a cleavage-bearing V-neck top. The former teenage beauty queen stands proudly in front of a life-sized Barbie-themed palace she had commissioned for the seventh birthday party of her twin daughters. Other photos and a video show grand arcs made of pink and white balloons and a table featuring a three-tiered pink birthday cake. Barbie-themed menus and party hats. A glittering chandelier hangs from a pink ceiling at the party for Emily and Maria Joaquina in Culiacan, the capital of the northwestern state of Sinaloa, where their father, El Chapo, once ruled as the world's most powerful drug trafficker and leader of the notorious Sinaloa cartel. The whole story with her is so surreal, said a retired Drug Enforcement Administration agent. She goes around and flaunts her wealth and lifestyle in front of everyone's face. Number 2. Early Life Coronel is a U.S. and Mexican citizen by virtue of her birth on American soil on July 2, 1989. She is allegedly the niece of Ignacio Coronel, an infamous tracker of methamphetamines to the United States. Her father, Inez Coronel Barreras, and the man she denies is her uncle, were involved in drug trafficking in the early 1990s when El Chapo controlled the market for cocaine within Mexico. Ignacio was killed on July 29, 2010, in Zapopan, Jalisco State, during a shootout with the Mexican Army. Inez Coronel Barreras has several convictions for marijuana trafficking, as does Emma's father, Inez Omar Coronel, who is also serving time for drug offenses. As a child, Emma Coronel shuttled between the U.S. and a remote town near Angostura in Mexico's Durango State, at the center of what is now known as the country's golden triangle for drug trafficking. She began participating in beauty pageants at a young age, and at age 17, was named Beauty Queen at the Coffee and Guava Festival. At a ball to celebrate her coronation, she met her future husband, El Chapo, who was 51 at the time. 
Coronel left her boyfriend to become El Chapo's third wife, and they agreed to marry the day she legally became an adult, just a few months after they met. With her elaborate makeup and calm demeanor, Coronel has given several television interviews where she has revealed details of her private life with carefully chosen words. El Chapo, she revealed, made her fall in love with his words rather than expensive gifts. He won me over with kindness and with his manners, she said. Her husband urged her to continue her education, and she began a degree in communication sciences at the Autonomous University of Sinaloa. She would have liked to have been a journalist, she once said. Coronel has always looked at ease in front of the camera and easily dodged awkward questions about her husband's business dealings with a smile. I would prefer not to answer that, she would respond in a shy voice whenever anything related to drug trafficking entered the conversation. Although she emphasized she lived a normal life, going out with her friends to restaurants and the movies in Sinaloa, everybody knew who she was. I don't need lots of material things, just happiness and calm. I don't want them to make a big deal about my life. I like to go to the beach, go out and have fun like anyone else, she told the press. Coronel had twin daughters with Guzman in 2011, named Maria Joaquina and Emily Guadalupe. They were also born in the U.S., and the girls are half-sisters to the eight other children El Chapo has from previous marriages. Although Coronel has said she doesn't know exactly how many children Guzman has fathered, she's helping to raise three of them. The fortune El Chapo amassed from cocaine in the 1990s afforded him a life of luxury. Four private planes, mansions scattered all along Mexico's best beaches, and even a zoo on one of his many ranches. Miguel Angel Martinez, El Chapo's right-hand man, and known among Sinaloa cartel members as El Gordo, spilled the beans on the family's flashy lifestyle at his trial. The ranch they owned in Guadalajara boasted four swimming pools and a menagerie of exotic pets such as tigers, lions, panthers, and deer, he said. Guests would ride around on a little train, El Gordo recounted, before describing his business partner's dozens of luxury cars and frequent trips abroad. Number one. How the Kardashian of Sinaloa went from influencer to prisoner. The wife of Mexican cartel boss Joaquin El Chapo Guzman was known for years as a social media icon, model, and businesswoman. But her life of luxury has come crashing down, and now she spends 22 hours alone in a cell as she awaits trial for drug charges. Stripped of her jewelry, luxury clothes, and Louis Vuitton heels, Emma Coronel was unrecognizable as she appeared in a blue and green prison jumpsuit at a virtual court hearing in the United States. Coronel, the third wife of Mexican drug trafficker Joaquim El Chapo Guzman Loera, was denied bail by a judge after being charged last February with international trafficking of cocaine, methamphetamine, heroin, and marijuana. Known as the Kardashian of Sinaloa, Coronel also stands accused of helping her husband escape from prison in 2015 in a madcap jailbreak that involved a mile-long tunnel dug from his shower. If convicted of all charges, she faces a maximum sentence of life in prison and a fine of $10 million, as well as the prospective humiliation of losing a life spent in a blur of yachts, luxury brands, and photo shoots. Cornell now spends 22 hours a day in a prison cell in Alexandria in the state of Virginia, in conditions denounced by her lawyer, Marielle Cologne. She only spends a couple of hours in a small communal room, Cologne said. Alone in her cell, Cornell devotes herself to reading, as they don't offer her anything else to do to distract herself, according to Cologne. Coronel was a familiar face at the 2019 New York trial of her husband, who was eventually sentenced to life in prison. Flanked by bodyguards, the impeccably dressed, dutiful wife and her children quickly attracted the attention of the press pack. She said at the time that she was fine despite the pressure of the trial and confirmed that she had never hidden the whereabouts of El Chapo from the twins. They know their dad is in jail. She told the press, They pull me away from feeling lonely. They keep me busy, she said. Her defense of her husband has never wavered. Do share with us in the comments, what are your thoughts about her? Please subscribe to The Luxury World. Thanks for watching.